The Science of Sustainable Ecology, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 240. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 240, October 29th, 2017 edition. And today's topic is the science of sustainable ecology. Science, we know what that is. And sustainable ecology is really the concept, or for us, for One Community, the science of sustainable ecology is about the ecology of humans in relationship to their environment. Ecology is normally organisms in relationship to their environment, the, and we're really focused on what would be the science of creating sustainable environments that people would prefer to live in versus the way that they're living right now. This would be the science of sustainable ecology. What is the necessary environment that that would be created to, to have people choose to live in that environment versus how they're living right now built on sustainability? Most people realize that the way that we're living right now as a species is not sustainable. We are destroying our forests, we are destroying our oceans, we are destroying, well, pretty much all of our natural resources, and we're using more resources than is, than is sustainable. There's a measuring tool, actually, that talks about when we cross the line of sustainability every single year. You can Google this if you're interested in it. And every year, it's getting a little bit closer to the beginning of the year. The point is, is that we use more than we produce sooner and sooner every single year. And that's a problem because it is unsustainable. By definition, if something's not sustainable, that means it can't go on forever. And so a solution is past due. And so one community is creating that solution. Our idea of creating the science or supporting the science of sustainable ecology is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And so everything that you see happening in the background of the video right here is what we've been working on for the last seven years. And the goal is self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well, to spread this concept of the science of ecology by expanding open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for how to live sustainably and doing that in such a way that we provide such a suite, such a diversity of these blueprints and such an enriching environment that takes the, the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines them with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship, and puts those together to create a sustainable ecology for humans, for people. That ecology being an environment that provides a way of living that's better than the way that they're living right now, so that more and more people want to do that. And if we can create that self-replicating model by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own, solution models specifically designed to create additional solution-creating models, then we can transform our planet within our lifetime. We can change our entire culture and civilization to a sustainable one within our lifetime, and you can do the math pretty easily right now with me. If you imagine that one group of 50 people creates, starts something like one community, and one community is meant to grow to several thousand, but if a group of just 50 people starts a sustainable village model like one community, and that inspires two additional groups of 50 people after that the next year, and the year after that, it inspires four more groups to start sustainable communities. And after that, eight, and then 16, and then 32, and then 64, and so on and so forth. If you run that out for 30 years, we will cover the entire population, the growing population of our planet. And one community is designed so that it doesn't require the participation of everybody. There's a certain tipping point of, of participation that would lead to a completely sustainable world and a world that truly works for everybody. And that's what we want to achieve. And because we're open source and because we're free shared and because we are non-dogmatic about it, we don't pretend that everybody will want to participate. But we believe that what we're creating will be beneficial enough to people and groups that enough people will want to participate that we can create a sustainable world for everybody. 
that we can change that clock that keeps getting closer and closer and closer to the beginning of the year that shows that we have passed our point of sustainability for this year so that we can completely eliminate it and actually provide more than we take so that we can create ecosystems, eco communities, and eco teacher demonstration hubs that give more than they take through permaculture, through, through sustainable design, so that we can start stewarding as a species this planet the way that we're capable of. Some people are already doing it. And if you go back a few hundred years, everybody was doing it. We were living within our means and really producing more than we were taking. We can return to that with the technological advances that we have today and create a world that truly works for everybody. And this is what One Community is all about. This is our idea of forwarding the science of sustainable ecology in a way that is a win, 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 win. Win, 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 win. That's win for the planet, win for people, win for, for uh, the economy and for our global economic systems, and also a win for all surrounding communities. So a win for everybody. And we think that that, well, that's really our highest good philosophy is to create in a way that is to the best of our ability for the best and for the highest good of all life on our planet. This is what one community is all about. So with that said, let's check out what one week of our team and our team is an all volunteer team. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. Our all volunteer nonprofit team. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the science of sustainable ecology in an open source and free shared manner that we believe that will, can create a world that works for everybody and will be implementable by anyone. And the reason for that, of course, is because everything we're designing is designed to be implemented as either the complete teacher demonstration hub or as individual components. So we want to provide something for everybody that's interested in participating. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week's focus was working on the obstacle course. We reset the order of obstacles, designed and added four new obstacles, added a course path with start and finish signs, and added benches. And the core team created and updated the remaining complete Treehouse Village images throughout the site. The core team also edited the master plan file by adding new images and then updated it across the site. You can see that update here and on our overview page. In addition, we continued working on the Murphy bed instructions, continuing to test different layouts. Here is one of the new instructional page examples in progress. The core team also finished the complete Straw Bale Village materials and cost analysis page. You can see pictures of this work here and access the complete page on the site. And the core team continued editing the Earthbag Village tools and equipment page. We updated the Google spreadsheet and added new screenshots to the page. We also began creating a new thermal leg page to showcase Vomzi Plargertha's work on the subject. Sengum Stanzak, PhD in PE, continued her work on the open source wet lab that will be used to test and assure the safety of the filtered gray water from the communal eco shower. This week's focus was writing the content describing the function and details of the wet lab. Jaganathan Shankar Mahanavan, mechanical engineer, completed his seventh week and finished his work on the Straw Bale Village materials and cost analysis content. What you see here are some of the final spreadsheets and charts now open sourced on the newly finished page on the website. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 87 of Dean's work, continuing to test and develop the textures and lighting from the skylights and windows for the central dining, presentation hall, and adjacent kitchen areas. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 61st week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was this final render of the waiting area and this final render of the rooftop view looking east. These images have also been added to the site. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his fourth week working on the compressed earth block village render additions. This week, he finished adding people and additional aesthetics to this final render of the ADA Handicapped Compliant Room looking south. Aparna Tandon, 
architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 36th week of work focusing on the final presentation shown here and live on the site for Zone 7, the Northwest Relaxation Space with Seasonal Ponds. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team updated the floor plan images on the Duplical City Center main hub, which you can see here. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the City Center structural engineering tutorial. What you see here is his fifth week of writing content. This week's content focus was finishing the wind load details, as seen here. Falgun Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his ninth week continuing to review, run calculations, and update the specifics of the remote energy setup plan for the Highest Good Energy page. As part of this, he also completed a week of researching the City Center HVAC systems and drafted an initial proposal. Oruba Rabi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer, also continued working on the City Center structural engineering AutoCAD and SAP 2000 models corrections. This week, she finished corrections for the living and social domes in SAP 2000 and provided the needed corrections shown here for AutoCAD. Erevin Vasudevan, mechanical engineer, continued his calculations and research for climate battery component of the City Center heating and cooling open source hub. This week's focus was final corrections and updates to the sizing spreadsheets so we can use them for sizing climate batteries for the food structures. Hennen Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 20th week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was continuing the process of reorganizing and simplifying the window and door plan while updating the main floor plan with the new standardized window and door selections. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued researching and organizing and added more data for 20 countries' nutrition guidelines to the resource chart for our food self-sufficiency transition plan and sustainable food nutrition calculations page, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued adding to the education assessment format open source page and tutorial. This week, we finished the explanation of key roles and terminology and the format steps and process summary portions, as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated our Welcome to the Team page and collaborative Google Doc template to better share for new members of the team our updated volunteer expectations and procedures. We also updated our site header to include a new search dropdown with links to all the key search engines and created a new Search One community page to make navigating the site easier. And the core team created two new rounds of search icons and added them to the Search One community page. You can see the final icons here. Well, there you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards uh, propagating the science of sustainable ecology in an open source and free shared manner that we believe can become self-replicating and create a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. If this stuff is interesting to you and you like more details and more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that it is that we're creating, visit our written blog, visit our website. We've got so much, so much information and so much content that our all volunteer team has created over the last seven years. Check it out. Look at what it is that we're doing. If you'd like to help, 
uh, share our information, help us share information. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to get the information out there, to share the information. So if you'd like to help, share information. We are on Pinterest, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Twitter, we are of course on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. That's the easiest way to help if you'd like to. Uh, also, if you'd like to receive an email, every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Uh, or if you'd prefer to manage your updates through uh, through YouTube or through social media, subscribe to our social media channels or subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. And of course, thank you. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the donations that we get. We're 100% unpaid staff, so every dollar of every donation that we get goes towards forwarding our nonprofit mission. None of it goes to pay salaries or wages. Uh, thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the likes. And uh, thank you for being you. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.